Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here with Scrap Squad Sunday. And um, this is the original. It is absolutely gorgeous. And it's got a frame of pattern paper, which I'm not gonna have on mine. I used some washi tape. I'm using everything, everything I'm using is from the Mind the Scrap September kits. So I won't have a lot of the same uh, icons and and uh, embellishments there. I have cut my hearts out uh, with a scalloped die, so you get some of the same textural um, interest, if you will, that you might get from stitching, which is what the original artist did. I've mounted my photo with foam and um, backed it with cardstock and then put it kind of cattywampus on this cardstock to kind of give it a little bit of interest and give me a place over here to maybe put something. When I ran the washi tape across here and kind of to give you a little bit of the interest that the frame might, it ended there. So I'm going to do little uh, banners. I may as well go ahead and stick those on. And uh, like I said, all of the papers are from the Mind the Scrap September kit. I don't want to run this all the way to the end of the end of the paper. I'm just going to kind of do it just for a little bit of extra interest. And this, these banners are in a pattern that I did not use in the hearts. So I'm going to sit down and I've got this sheet of gold stickers that's from Jen Hadfield. I have a couple sheets of stickers from um, Happy Blooms by Pink Fresh. I have these ephemera pieces and some more in here from Obed Marshall's Fantastico. And I have these little um, wooden hearts, uh, chipboard hearts from um, P13. And I have some fussy cut butterflies and some, um, <clears throat> excuse me, flare from Dottie About Flare. I'm gonna kind of put that off to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and stick some flare down because there are a couple pieces that I don't know where they're going to go, but there are two pieces I do know. This kind of tomato soup uh, red, kind of a cross between a red and a pink or coral, I thought was perfect to match this color, and it's in a couple of the other things. And these were some um, flares I got. I, I can't tell you the release. Uh, or even if they ever have been released, every time Adam sends me a box, there are some extras that <clears throat> um, he provides. Sometimes they're um, design team things, and I'm I'm just not sure if those are out there. But they match the color palette for Fantastico perfectly, and also this Paige Evans. So now I'm going to just kind of put the, oh, my chair needs to be raised up, but I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to kind of, based on where this is, I'm going to place the hearts. I'm going to have the the ends kind of down <clears throat> in here. I'm eyeballing it because there's a, a, a really good chance that once I add the embellishments, it'll kind of take away any imbalance that may occur because my eyeballing wasn't accurate. Come on, okay. I'm gonna do that. I think that lines up there, and I'm not really, uh, you know, you could you could measure and 
get this really precise and good on you. <laughs> I'm um, not likely to take that much trouble myself because I feel like I can undo anything that goes wrong. I may or may not be right about that. Um, there, I'm gonna let this overlap instead of underlap that. Okay, so let me take this and just take a look at it. It seems okay, okay enough that I can put this guy down and I'll maybe let that overlap too. And we'll go there. Okay, so <clears throat> we've got all that in. Now, in looking for something to go here, I considered this, but I don't like how it looks against the goal. Uh, I may just discard the whole idea of a tag. This might work the best of all. Okay, that does look better than the others. And I'm going to, instead of um, putting any twine or ribbon <coughs> through it, I'm gonna use one of these little bows from Violet Studio that also came in the kit and I will see if I can um, let's see do we want I'm gonna try one of these little green bows how's that that seems to work let me get my beetles cup and I'm I'm just I'm probably gonna hop around and um, decorate different um, different hearts as the mood kind of hits. There is one thing I know I want to use. There's one of these that says miss you and I want to put it over there next to John because I miss him. <clears throat> like right there and I'm going to start working in I, I'm kind of I'm not good at using things like the um, these gold pieces <clears throat> excuse me but so I'm going to go ahead and the, once I use the first one, the others will kind of, um, I'll, I'll use the others to kind of provide some balance. I'm going to go ahead and use this one kind of like that. Let it kind of curl around and come up there, and I may... I will find may, maybe a, a sentiment, this making the most of every moment. Um, in actuality, that makes sense for this photo. We, um, <clears throat> I had been on a business trip in, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I think it was Palm Desert, California. And I came back, I flew home and John met me with a piece of mail, a brochure I'd gotten from my um, <clears throat> excuse me, alumni 
Association where they were um, planning a trip to uh, Zellemsee, Austria. Or not to Zellemsee, but to Salzburg. And John had always wanted to go to Zellemsee. And so he said, let's do this. And so he's picking me up from one trip with an idea to go on, on another. And I was all for it, so we sent in the money, and when we were planning to go, the, the, the trip was a charter that was leaving from Atlanta, and we were living in Houston at the time. So it's okay, as long as we have to drive to Atlanta, or, you know, fly to Atlanta, or get to Atlanta, why don't we drive and go through Kentucky, where James was stationed at Fort Knox. So... we decided to go there and <clears throat> I'm going to use this little blue butterfly over there on that blue frame that's kind of hanging off the black heart. And so we drove kind of the long way around to Atlanta and stopped at uh, Fort Knox and visited James. And this is us in his barracks and I'm going to put that right there just to kind of fill that gap where the that thing is. I've got this pink butterfly. I'm going to find a good place to use it. Um, it has a little wing missing down underneath so maybe I'll put it kind of off beside this the pinks don't really match there um, terribly well so let me put it somewhere else maybe up here kind of pointed that way is that is that good? And then I have a kind of a multicolored one. I've got this XOXO, <clears throat> and I thought maybe my original plan was to have, yeah, that's going to work. I, I like the, the first XO is over James's white shirt, and the second one is over John's dark shirt. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not quite sure what's happening to my voice. Um, we had Ava's um, kicking cancer party, uh, just family, and um, Katie and Barrett's mom was here for Barrett's game that was Friday night, last night, and um, Ava's mom, Ava and Allie's mom was here. So, uh, and they, uh, Nikki got um, a cake from one of the volunteers at Children's Hospital, and the cake was absolutely amazing. She, the baker asked Nikki, what is she into? And Nikki said, well, she really likes um, alternative rock music. Oh, okay, so what are some of her favorite bands? And Nikki told her, and she's expecting kind of, um, you know, a, a volunteer quality looking cake. But I mean, it's amazing. And you just would not believe the, the, the um, guitar is wood grain and <clears throat> it's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to do another kind of a sprig coming out over here, maybe coming from under the butterfly or somehow coming here. This would work for the mixed metals prompt because I've got the silver glitter and the gold um, 
stickers. I like this guy and I want to put it someplace where it contrasts. So maybe there. And then I could put a put something there. Don't think it looks good there. It doesn't look good there. This is the only other place. I think I'll do it here. And have it overhang. I'll put it on two layers of foam. And I'll have it overhang and I'll tuck a flare in underneath it. I've got a pink wood grain that would be just beautiful with that. And then I will fussy cut. I'd like some blue up there. I will fussy cut this camera out of this Ovid Marshall embellishment. So let's do that right there. And we'll do this. <clears throat> here, and then I'll try to find something small to go there. That's actually not... That's not working the way that I wanted it to, and this is fully stuck down. It's amazing how... <laughs> And it came off of the, why is that? Okay, let me see how I can work this. I'm gonna put this over the heart. And then I'll layer this on there. Okay, that works out well. And then I can put a small, leaf or a sprig or something coming out of there. Um, maybe one or a couple of these. There's another one in there going the other direction and that would be perfect. Okay, so there. Now, this I may leave by itself, except maybe put a little bow right there. Let me do that. Kind of have it hanging off. Let's see what this says. This Instantes. There's one on here that says sweet and I thought it might be cute right there along with one of the gold pieces. So let me prop this up on some foam. <clears throat> then I'll fussy cut that camera out. I love um, grids like this where you can um, really decorate each, each piece of the grid as if it were a, um, you know, just a separate canvas. Do that. And then maybe a small piece. Let me get this in here. Here. And maybe a tiny little flower there. Okay, not sure what to do with this yet, but we'll find, we'll figure out something. Okay, let me get this guy out. leaving a little bit of the pink border because that'll kind of tie it in to all the other pink that's going on. It's amazing how these fairly um, diverse collections can play nice together 
and I credit Emma Clark with being able to uh, make selections that will do that. She's a genius and a pretty cool person as well. So I'm going to do that and then maybe put this butterfly. That will have all the butterflies. Wait, but that butterfly really doesn't go with that. What if I put it on here? That would be different. Let's just do that. Now this could go on here, or I could just do, how about we just do this guy and run it kind of right there off to the side so you can see that center part with the stars. I like that. Okay, what else are we, do we need to decorate? I think this needs a little something right here. So maybe the I have the rose flare, which could Kind of go. Let me put this on another layer of foam tape. Kind of get it where it's up above that guy. Yeah, this will be okay. I'll do it this way. Kind of slant it over to the side and let me get something in here. This rose is from Katherine Ronson's um, DT set from a couple of releases ago. Let's do that off to, well, I'll do it off to this. Okay, that's not sticking. Do it off to that side, and then I'll do another one off to this side. And I'll add in a tiny little flower, maybe right there. Okay, and then I'm going to add a... flower there just as a, a little decoration. I've got this flare which would really look nice kind of just right there. It covers up that color so there's plenty of this other color. So why don't I just put it right smack there. It, it kind of looks um, like it doesn't belong. Is there any way that I can... Do I need it? Let's see. My other flare here, 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 and here, kind of going out down this way. How about if this went right there and I put something... Um, pretty on it. Let's do that. And I, I'm just kind of being stubborn here. I got it out. I could just as easily put it away. Um, I don't have anything there or there, so I'm going to get another bow to put maybe down here, and I'll add a, some pink to that. Let's see what we have here. I'm going to lift this up and kind of put that there. And I will add a a little leaf there. 
Okay. Um, do I have anything here? The best days. Yeah, the best days were when, you know, John was still here. Um, let's see. I could use a little accent on here. Maybe a, maybe a little flower. I don't like that. Um, what can I do with one of these? Is there any way to use that? Right there, that doesn't look good. Okay, so let me put that back. Is there anywhere that I should use this? I don't think so. I might save that for another page. Let me get a bow <clears throat> for the blue. Instead of accenting the pink, I'm going to accent the yellow. And I'll kind of put it off there. Um, let me add another bow. Let's see. I've used the pale pink. Let me use a bright pink. Or, I can't use a red. How about this bright pink right here? Okay. I'm going to now look at some stickers. Did I miss anything here? that I could have. Um, there's this little banner that says a happy day. And uh, it's in a color that will go nicely here. So let me pop it up on some foam. It's from the same Paint Fresh collection. So it matches perfectly and it kind of good decoration there. Okay, special day. There's, I like this yellow thing, but we don't have a whole lot of yellow going on. And I like this pink one. There's also this purple. Let's see if there's anything here. I like the purple butterfly. Um, there's a screen that says loved this. I think we're done. I actually think we're done. Let me, is there anything in here that I need? Um, don't think so. Okay. I think we're going to call this one done. I like it the way it is. And we've got kind of a, a mixture of, uh, of fun things on all of the uh, on all of the hearts there. And there's a real variety of pattern and color. And I'm going to let the XOXO, you can kind of see how here it's over his shirt. And the XOXO can be my title. So, I think we're good. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.